so I'm here in Richard Zumolin's, I think it's Zumolin? Zumolin. Zumolin. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> it's Beverly Hills, and I'm doing my pre-op for my chin implant. It's a large implant, and it's gonna be in a week from tomorrow on a Tuesday at 11 a.m., so. <laughs> He's giving me my final info, whatever I guess I need, so. We'll see. All right, so this is a great system. This is 3D imaging. Um, I do this on all patients that are getting any nasal work done and sort of chin augmentation, submental lipo. Yeah. Um, it takes two. It takes three pictures and puts them together okay. so that you're able to see um, the potential transformation. And it's not exact. It's not 100 percent exact. But for someone like a chin implant and a rhinoplasty, it's amazing because you know it allows us to communicate things like um, size. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what we imaged the last time I saved it. Yeah. Um, and it'll allow us to, um, boom, there we go. Yeah. It'll allow us to see what the overall potential change can be with yeah. this. Yeah. Um, now, you know, this is, you know, what can be achieved with a chin implant. Now let's overlap them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, over again. Some, oftentimes I like to image twice just to look at sizes, to make sure we're doing the size that is best for you. So this is how you actually image. You bring this out, mm -hmm. okay? And then what What also you do end up doing is when you pull the chin forward, this part, which I just felt in the exam room, it wasn't very bulky, it didn't have a lot of fat in it. What's gonna do yeah. is gonna actually pull it up. So it's kind of a double, double, uh, yeah. double whammy as far as improvement because it's gonna pull this up and improve your profile um, okay. in two ways. It's going to bring this up and bring this out. When we when we look at them so far, let's see how much uh, augmentation we have. So that's about a medium. Okay. Now, the reason why I'd go a little bit larger with you is because you're a male. Yeah. Males can go bigger with the chin. Okay. And so you go, you drive it a little bit further with, uh, with a large. And that'll give us even more pull down here. Yeah. Um, so that when we end up doing it, you know, you'll end up having, you know, something like this is what we're, is what we're searching for. Okay. Can I see from the front? Oh, yeah. So, so this is great because it allows for some idea of this, but I don't like how the, uh, ex it's Squared not exact. It it's, it's, it's not this square in real life. This okay. is a product of the, of the, it's just artifact from the system okay. not putting it together well. I'm, this is not better. as accurate. Okay. Uh, front views is is just this is a little bit more boxy and yeah. and 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 uh, than that. Yeah. It might is going to be smooth, a nice contour. It's okay. not going to have a boxy shape to it. Awesome. So uh, yeah, it's going to be great. That alleviates my that was my main fear. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. Okay. Yeah, trust me. Because if you look at the way that implants are shaped, have you seen them? Yeah. Uh, uh, Mel. Like to see it again. Though. Uh, Melcy, um, we'll just show you kind of an idea of them. Actually, I want to show you the actual implant so people can see it. Yeah. Hey guys, who's out there? Uh, so uh, can you actually bring me an actual large implant, like the actual one? I'm going to open it and show it to him because he's got a, he wants to see it. So, pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> okay. I wanna, and then I'm going to show you the. Um, I want to show you the actual one, so you, you'll know why now it's not going to create a boxy look. Here's the large. Oh no, actual implant. Oh, okay. Let me bring that box. Give me a second. What's that? This is the sizer that I use. So oh, this is the shape okay. of it. Okay. That's the shape of the large implant. So, so check it out. Okay. Can I feel it? Yeah. You see how it's not, see how it's rounded? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty firm too. Yeah, it's pretty firm. So it'll feel like bone once it's done. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is it, sterile and, you know, gives yeah. you this nice package. And these are the ones that look not best on guys. As big as you would think either. No, it's not. It's large. It's, no, no, no. I mean, it's large sounds large, but um, you should see the smalls the medium. They're too small for yeah. guys. I mean, I, I've all. All right, we're going to do this. You're going to love it. Right. Come on, it's going to be so awesome. Much. My pleasure. Okay. All right. Baby Okay Okay, cool. 
Thank you. Thank you. My name is Misak. I'm going to be your nurse today. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rafe. Rafe? Yeah. Rafe. So we're we doing your chin today? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. Are you allergic to any medication? No. Any uh, food allergy, latex allergy? No. No? Okay. Have you ever heard of surgery before? No. No? How much do you weigh? 170. Oh yeah, yeah. I always forget. What was that? Did you get all the medication? Yeah, I have it all here. Okay, so yeah. You started Arnica yesterday? No. Did they give you? No? Arnica? Oh, you don't need it. You don't need it. Oh yeah, I know Arnica. For inflammation, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how are, how are you? you? Good. What's your name? Rafe. Rafe, I'm Dr. Baghdad. Nice to meet you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Excited. Nervous. You didn't have anything to eat or drink today? No. Any allergies? No. Any medical problems? Just HIV, but it's undetectable. Okay. So I'm going to put you to sleep for this. Everything is going to go through the IV once. Yeah. Get back, give you medications, take a nap, the procedure. Hopefully. It's not a long one. And um, do you do any, do you smoke, drink, drugs? I drink socially. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, Okay. We'll just wait for that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <coughs> Should have more questions. Everybody asks me if I have questions, and I don't have any questions because I don't know what to ask because I'm nervous. Hey, brother. Hey. How are you? Good. You ready to do this? Yeah. Do you want to record anything? I am. Oh, you are? I am. Oh, so I should sit down then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we are. This is my good side. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, we will we're gonna give you two really good sides too. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to do a little recording today as well, because I like to do that if you don't mind. Uh -huh. But basically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mark you up so that I can line you up as, um, as straight as possible. Okay. So, what I do is I mark the center of the chin. Masako, can you record a little too for me? Rafe's recording, but I want you to get this too. Yes. Okay. Just to really just, just just record any the, make me make me look good. Okay. Let's <laughs> try. Right. Make make Rafe look good. Okay. Okay. Three, two. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is mark the ends of where we're gonna put the implant. The anterior edges are gonna be here, here. All right. I'm gonna make the incision underneath, right about here. Okay, and so with the large, because it's gonna sit so anterior, I wanna make sure that the, even, so the incision when it's pulled doesn't show. So I'm gonna, so I always go, the, the bigger the implant, the farther back you actually have to go in order to make sure that when you put the implant in, you don't end up getting the incision showing because this thing never shows. And in fact, 30% of people already have something here. Good. You get, you get us together, get that shot from right there, Misako. Don't block his camera. Oh yeah, good. Okay, so we're gonna do Masako. Masako, you blocking his camera. See that camera over there? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Rafe can edit it out. Edit your, edit your body out, Masako. Oh my gosh. Masako's our nurse. She's a legend. She's, she is, um, she's great. She's gonna be working with us to make sure you have the best experience. And then it's gonna come up on top here. So once we're done, outlining it basically that's and that's where it's going to go essentially the meat of it 
Smile big for me and I want to make sure it lines up with your teeth perfectly. Relax now. Good. All right. So basically now you can see where it lines up and basically we're going to extend the chin and give them a little bit of chin augmentation anteriorly. Okay. You ready to rock? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> oh wow, Misako, look at that beautiful view. Right? Good job. Misako knows how to make you look good. All right, let me just uh, dab you. Are we going? Am I following you? Before we start? Okay. I live in West Hollywood. Where? West Hollywood. Near La Cienega, San Monica. All right, so we're scrubbing it now. We're gonna put in a large chin implant on our patient. He needs a little bit more augmentation than the average, so we're gonna put that in. Contour it, custom design it just for him. All right, so we're carving the implant now. This is a silicone implant. This is what we're gonna be using for him. I chose this because we want some anterior extension that's about this length. And also I want it to wrap around so it's nice, nice and natural and it doesn't have a pointy appearance to it. So this is custom designed exactly for what he wants. And I'm gonna be carving the edges a little bit and custom designing it even further just for him. You got All right, so we basically made a nice tight pocket for the chin implant, sitting in there in a nice custom designed pocket for it as well. So it's not gonna move. You actually don't even need to secure it. I do it anyway but you don't need to, it's such a nice tight pocket. We're just gonna close it up and that'll be it. Took less than an hour. What's up guys? So, um, man, I have to say the first two hours after waking up from anesthesia and coming home were the most brutal, the most painful moments of this whole recovery process. As soon as the anesthesia wore off, I was in the most pain I've experienced in as long as I can remember. When I broke my ankle, it wasn't nearly that bad. Um, I can't even remember the last time that I felt that bad. I was just groaning and rolling in pain. I couldn't stop moving because I constantly had to like pull my hair or like grab the bed sheets or something because it just hurt so much. And I had taken a Percocet and I waited like 45 minutes to an hour and at that point I'm like it had to have kicked in so I finally just decided to take another one and then another 45 minutes went by and that's when that one finally started to kick in and it it toned it down enough that it was manageable. It still hurt a lot but it was bearable so um, and then from then on the next day it the pain had subsided quite a bit. I was still was taking Percocet for the next day or day and a half but it quickly diminished and then I mean my smell swelling has been really minimal I haven't noticed any bruising at least that I can see so I'm kind of excited about that so yeah I mean the process has been really easy I took the week off I just needed one week after the surgery for recovery so I took the week off from work I've just been ordering delivery been doing a lot of editing on my MacBook back there and just trying to get content together so that once I'm back on my feet, I can hit the ground running. So I'm, I'm super excited to see what it looks like. So yeah, can't wait for Monday.